We are wrapping up Brain Cancer Awareness Month. According to the American Brain Tumor Association, last year alone, nearly 70,000 people in the U.S. were diagnosed with brain tumors. I recently sat down with a man who has been battling his for nearly a decade and hopes his experience will inspire others. I thought my life was over. At 29 years old, Mark Krudemski got the news that changed his life. Um, the attack came out and he said, well, you might want to call your doctor tomorrow. And I knew that they found something. What they found was this, a tumor the size of a soda can taking over Mark's brain. I didn't think that there was any hope. Doctors took action. In 2005, Mark underwent a risky surgery. 95% of his tumor was removed, but the operation left Mark unable to speak and partially paralyzed. Surgery was on a Thursday, and I spoke my first word on the following Monday. It would take months for Mark to fully regain his speech and more than two years of therapy to get him to walk as well as he does today. I used to play tennis. I used to mountain bike. Um, I used to run, but when, you know, I found out that I couldn't do those things, but I can walk and talk, um, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> and what's inspiring is Mark's attitude. He's undergone chemotherapy, and following that first surgery, he had two more, one in 2011, the other in 2012, to help with painful, chronic headaches. And now more problems with what's left of that tumor. That has been growing the past two years, and they felt that radiation would stop it. Which is what brought Mark back to Mayo Clinic. For the past month, he's been undergoing daily radiation treatments. It's unnerving being clamped down to the table, uh, and you have a mask over your face, um, and it's intense. Feel okay? Once Mark's finished with radiation, he'll undergo an MRI to see how successful the treatments have been. But for now, it's a waiting game. Not knowing, only able to wonder what'll happen next. Unfortunately, we still tell patients, you know, these are very young people that get this tumor, uh, that at this point, it is still a, a tumor that we don't usually cure. Most people don't say, my hope for the future is to live. Yes. What's it like for you to say that? Um, when I wake up every day, I'm grateful. Um, I try to live every day to the fullest um, because I don't know if this is going to take my life. Doctors say the people with the type of brain cancer Mark has typically don't live longer than 15 years. When Mark was diagnosed, he was given five years to live. This fall will mark 10 years he's been fighting his battle. Mark is an inspirational guy, and he's been documenting his journey online. If you'd like to follow him and share words of encouragement, we'll have a link posted with this story on our website at kaltv.com. Mm.